Oh my gosh, watch me how to turn this scary looking couple. Look at the fingers and the eyes. Very disformed. Watch how I turn this into this gorgeous couple. We've added a detail, but it is a process. This is what I did. First, I used Image Enhancer. I, the original <coughs> Mid Journey V6 images is a thousand twenty-four by thousand twenty-four. So I put this, that horrible looking image, and uh, run through it for Image Enhancer. Off the bat, it already looked better. The face is a little bit more even, and I started adding details on the fingers and the skin textures and the hairs but if you zoom in it's still not there the eye color doesn't really match although that's a really cool looking i know some people do have that kind of eyes but and then there's the finger like there's the, some weirdness happening so <clears throat> i basically used this as output and uh, re-uploaded it back to the uh, magnific and then watch this one i can already <laughs> tell fixed some of the fingers nail issues it added more textures and details and this man is a handsome man period some of the eye color adjusted a little bit although there's still little discolorations but much better but I hated these shoes and it's hideous and I also needed to fix here <clears throat> just like little details and the right here also looks weird the next step is we're taking this image in to Photoshop Ta-da! and then this is our final you already see this is what we did and it is a bit of a work as you can see I have a groups and <coughs> A lot of layers and <laughs> tens of general feel i'm gonna review it for you okay so this is our image from magnific ai enhanced twice and as i mentioned the shoes it's really ugly and i needed to fix some of the fingernails and also right here looks really weird so <clears throat> bunch of groups in general feels and little editing retouch boom like you can see it's i added a hand although the hand is like the sleeve isn't really perfect to match with the other hand but looks a lot better than what we had before okay this is a progress and then i did a little further improvement around the hand area i really wanted this fingernails really want this fingernail to be a little bit nicer I couldn't get like a better one with easy within a few minutes so I gave up and not looking at it maybe I could have said something like a female hand because this kind of look masculine and look like male hand but I will take that for now if you don't like really zoom in but next time I will try to match the hand a little bit better but what I'm really glad of what I did is you can see it just right here just looks messy and I didn't really like it boom I made it like a weird looking shoe boots kind of thing and it's within the color palettes of this image so it looked <laughs> so much better than compared to our original shoe which was horrible and yeah this is it uh, a few steps and few tricks from photoshop turn this scary image of this couple into this one the reason i did this experiment the process is because i really do the original image from my journey v6 like the vi <coughs> vibes the color palette i think it's there it's just the details is not quite there and i could have just tried to generate a better quality images with imi journey and then that will save me a lot of time to do retouches like these but <coughs> i really wanted to challenge myself and see if i'm able to use scary looking image like this one and kind of save it with in some post productions like photoshops and image enhancer and then i was able to do a decent job obviously as you can see but honestly happy with the results 
even though it's not perfect, is a flaw, but compared to what we initially have, which is this one. Let's do a side by side. It's a big improvement if we do a side by side. This image to this image, come on, that's a progress. You can't deny that, right? Okay, all right. So that's it. Oh, final, if you can manage to create a flawless near to perfect image within that image generation like MeJourney or other tools you're using, definitely do that. But the process I just went through is sometimes <laughs> you just really like the image and then you couldn't fix the little details within the MeJourney and that's when I will go through the process I just demonstrated. In this case, it was with this image. I like everything else about it. I like the setting, I like the couch, I like the background and color and everything. The outfit was not bad. It's just a few weirdness I need to retouch and edit. So that's when I choose to try if I can manage to uh, get something from this to this with a few extra steps definitely a little bit more time consuming but because the results looking pretty good and i think it's still worth to go through this process oftentimes even though all these image uh, generation is getting better and better but the reality is we still have an extra finger weird eye or weird teeth or just like a weird outfit that we don't really want and then we want to tweak it on uh, our own uh, outside of the me journey or stable diffusion or firefly if you use firefly so this is the process i will go through and I teach a lot of these like nitty gritty kind of details how to utilize generative film my workflow quite a bit inside of our cash camp it's a four weeks program if you're interested feel free to join if that's not something you're able to afford at the moment I also have a lot of free resources online that you can take a look at it more details below all right thank you so much